till now, uh, what have you been dealt with? So probably this is not your first theory class. You have already gone some theory classes, isn't it? So what are the things you have been covered as for yet? Soil forming factors. All right. So you have been told about water soils, isn't it? How they are formed, physical, chemical, weathering, all these things. So my part will be basically, I'll deal with the soil physical attributes. So what do you think? What according to you is the physical attributes? Tell me some physical attributes of soil. You have done the practical classes, no? Texture by field method have you done? You haven't done yet. Texture by field method? Okay, some of you have done. So probably some of the groups are lagging behind because of these buns and all these things. Anyways, so soil texture is one physical attribute, I'm telling you. Now you give me another. Soil color, of course, thank you. Then? Soil texture, color, structure, stickiness. Okay, that stickiness is more or less related to the soil textural part. All right, if you say it's a clay soil, that means your particle size, of course. Particle size is one physical attribute, say the bulk density, means the density of soil, mostly. All right, so these are some of the soil physical attributes. Do you think it is important? Is it important? Physical attributes? What do they decide? What is the role of these physical attributes? For that, you should know what the plan requires, isn't it? For the role to be played by a soil towards the crop, you should know what the crop actually requires. So if at all these physical attributes are somehow related or interrelated with these requirements, I think it is helpful for the crop. The approach should be that way, isn't it? So, what do you think? What does crop requires? Water. One. Then? Air. Air. Then? Mineral nutrients, of course. So, these are few of the requirements of the crop. So, Alternatively, can you tell me that these physical attributes, are they somehow affecting this air, water, nutrients? Is it? It is affecting, of course. So that is why studying of these soil attributes are important. So my class precisely today will be on the soil textural part. All right. So soil texture. So most of you have uh, already done this uh, practical, probably some of you have done the practicals. So those who have not done, I'm, it's not question to them. So what those who have done the texture. Uh, what is this soil texture? You have determined the texture based upon the based upon your perception or the feeling, how it feels, the grittiness, the coarseness, the smoothness, isn't it? That way you have felt the texture of the soil. So you can say at one at one go you can say that it is the surface property, isn't it? So texture, if you say a layman will be saying a texture will be as a surface property. But in case of soil science, when you are saying texture, it is not the surface property alone. So what is this? So before going to that, <coughs> let us see what are the physical properties of soil. So this includes the texture, structure, density, porosity, consistency, and temperature, color, and water content. And these particular physical properties will in turn depend upon the amount, size, shape, arrangement, mineral composition, organic matter, and the pore spaces. As we proceed with the class, I will be discussing all these points bit by bit, all right? <coughs> so, what is the soil texture as I have already told? This refers to the relative percentage of, 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 sand, silt and clay. So it is a relative proportion. So what do you mean by this relative proportion? Relative. Can you say in comparison to? In relation to, in comparison to. That means if you say a hundred percent, if you're considering a hundred percent texture, it is a relative proportion. Relative proportion means if one is 30, one is, if clay is 30, sand is 40, what will be silt? 
30. So that is the relative proportion in comparison because in total it will be 100%, isn't it? So that is why this term is used. This relative term is used, that is the reason. All right. So if you find the amount of texture, amount of sand and 